I'm uh, Richard Prum. I'm a professor of ecology and evolutionary biology at Yale University in the United States. I started uh, bird watching about the age of 10. Uh, and uh, after uh, more than 40 years, uh, I'm now unfit for any other kind of employment. Uh, I uh, started watching birds uh, when I got my first pair of glasses um, in about fourth grade uh, at 10 years old. And um, uh, the world came into focus and within a few short months I was watching birds and uh, been interested in birds uh, ever since. Uh, when I got to university, I discovered that evolutionary biology was the area of, uh, of science that was about what I found so fascinating about birds, which was uh, their diversity, uh, their origin, and maintenance uh, uh, throughout the planet. Over, for most of the 20th century, uh, scientists uh, believed that um, the origin of birds was essentially a mystery, coming from a group of reptiles that includes dinosaurs and and crocodiles. But uh, starting in the 1960s and 70s, uh, there was an increasing amount of evidence uh, supporting the conclusion that birds are living dinosaurs. Birds didn't just come from the dinosaurs, they aren't just descended from the dinosaurs, they are dinosaurs. And so there are 10,000 species of dinosaurs living on the planet today, and they're all around us from the toucans, to the flamingos, to the penguins, uh, to the ant birds. These are all uh, various living dinosaurs. Uh, my own work has included a lot of study on the origin of feathers in the dinosaurs and how feathers came to uh, uh, evolve. Uh, and that's been a big part in putting the story together about uh, the origin of birds. Uh, we know that uh, uh, birds originated uh, back in the Jurassic uh, age uh, uh, as a, a lineage of theropod dinosaurs. Um, uh, but we have had uh, 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 little insight into the diversity of the origin of the diversity of living birds. In the last few years, however, using DNA sequencing methods, a lot of progress has been made on the phylogeny of living birds. And we now have a detailed uh, understanding of who is related to who. Uh, in the big tree of life, birds are just one branch, and now uh, we're learning a lot more about which birds are related to which birds. Uh, one of the fascinating things we've discovered, for example, is that uh, songbirds uh, uh, were originally uh, uh, evolved from raptors. So the ancestor of a thrush uh, and a uh, toucan was actually some kind of hawk. Uh, and they are both different lineages that, that evolved out of this raptorial predatory lifestyle. These are the kind of things we, we're, we're learning. Uh, another interesting uh, discovery is that um, uh, swifts and hummingbirds have evolved from within a group of nocturnal birds that includes nightjars, uh, potus, and oil birds. Uh, so their ancestor was nocturnal for eight to 10 million years before they returned into the daylight and then uh, to evolve this special um, uh, uh, diet of foraging on nectar. So the phylogeny of birds is giving us lots of insight into the evolution of, of birds itself. One of the fascinating things about the theropod origin of birds, the dinosaur origin of birds, is that we're finding out that birds are, are not unique uh, among animals. They are a special kind of dinosaur. They're more dinosaurian than we ever realized. Uh, in addition, uh, we're su being surprised to learn that dinosaurs in general are a lot more avian than we ever understood. So for example, uh, we now know that uh, uh, dinosaurs had extensive parental care. They took care of their young at nests, uh, a lot like uh, uh, birds. In addition, um, we know that among theropod dinosaurs, the dads were at the nest. So T-Rex was a good dad. Right? And um, we see that that life is still, that kind of lifestyle, that kind of ecology is still present in living birds. The first branch in the tree of living birds includes uh, rat tights like the uh, rhea and, uh, and uh, flying uh, palignates like the tinamous. So tinamous and rheas, the fathers take care of the babies, right? And this is the uh, dinosaur, breeding system still alive on the planet today and even here in Brazil. So uh, 
Uh, one of the interesting things about burrs, of course, is the extensive uh, 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 ornaments that they have uh, that are, have evolved through mate choice, right? So almost all birds of the world sing songs or do dances or have colorful plumage that they use to attract mates. Um, uh, we are starting to get a better view of what's going on in dinosaurs in, in this regard. We can now look at the uh, fossil colors uh, or the coloration of fossil feathers in dinosaurs. Uh, and that's uh, uh, led to some uh, really fascinating discoveries that they were a lot brighter and more colorfully patterned than we realized. This includes the possibility uh, that, that uh, they have, may have had uh, uh, really advanced and interesting social behavior uh, like living birds.